Hello everyone. Let us see how to create a metallic shield in Photoshop. So let us start. Let us first create a simple heart shape. So select the pen tool. Make sure that the option over here is shape and uh, we will just uh, select a red color and uh, we will create a simple heart shape we will adjust the shape properly and also here we will turn off the stroke so here we have the option no color for the stroke so just let's adjust the heart shape so that the heart shape looks symmetrical so once we have adjusted the shape properly now we will turn this heart shape into a shield so how we can turn this heart shape into a shield? So we need to select this point and uh, we need to break this point. So how to break this point? We need to hold Alt in PC or Option in Mac and simply break this point. So simply hold Alt or Option and then drag this point. Right. And we will do the same thing for the right side point. So now we are slowly getting to the shape of shield. Let's adjust the shape. Make sure that it has symmetry. Means the left side and the right side of the shape are equal. So something like this. So now we will select the path selection tool so to select the entire shape and then we will place it exactly at the center. Center of the document. Right. So now we will apply layer style to this shape. just adjust it a little bit double click on the shape layer double click on the right side of the shape layer to open the layer style and when you open this layer style dialog box you can see plenty of options here so we will start with the color we'll start with the gradient color here we have the option gradient overlay simply turn on this gradient overlay and we can see some default gradient here so we'll just click on this reset to default and uh, we'll just start applying the gradient from the scratch just open the gradient editor and uh, we will select light gray and dark gray we'll select the two gradient colors light gray and dark gray we will apply these colors to these two sliders and then here in the gradient styles instead of linear we will select reflected so we can see here so when you select reflected the dark colors should be at the corners and the light color should be at the center and if the dark colors are not at the corners uh, you can always select this option reverse and change the position of the dark colors right and now we will turn on this bevel and emboss so once you select the bevel and emboss just click on this reset to default button so that we can start everything from the scratch 
we are going to apply this metallic uh, texture from the scratch so first thing we are supposed to do is once we select the bevel and emboss here we have the option technique so we'll be first uh, focusing on the options uh, at the top at the top of bevel and emboss settings so the first option we are going to change is the technique the technique has to be chisel hard and uh, make sure that the style is in the bevel and uh, we can slightly increase the depth and we can see this some changes some changes are beginning to take place right and then size let's also try to increase the size so we can see here don't increase it too much uh, the value of 92 is okay right then we will come down to this shading section shading so in the shading section we will turn off the use global light and we will also change the angle right so keep the angle uh, to minus 136 we can also keep it uh, in between uh, minus 130 and minus 170 right and then we will select this option gloss contour in this gloss contour we have uh, plenty of options so we will select ring double here so the ring double uh, gives it uh, gives the object a metallic uh, reflective uh, look so we can see at the edges right so then uh, we can slightly change the angle here okay this looks better and we can also play with the size right and then we'll come to this highlight mode and instead instead of screen option which is the default option we will select linear dodge right this looks better and the color of the center is too bright so we can slightly make it dark okay this looks better right and uh, make sure that uh, the color for highlight mode is pure white because we want a bright uh, highlights right so once we have applied this uh, silver metallic uh, look to this shield what we'll do now is we will get a metallic texture I have downloaded a metallic texture from uh, internet so here is the metallic texture I will now just drag this uh, metallic texture over this sheet right we will just scale it down now what we will do is we will hold control in PC or command in the Mac and just click on this shape layer shape layers thumbnail so that we can see a selection we can see a selection around the shape now with the metal texture layer active what we will do is we will invert the selection to invert the selection we need to hit Control shift i in pc or command shift i in mac so now we have inverted the selection and now we will simply hit delete right and to remove the selection we can hit the keyboard shortcut Control plus D in PC or command D in Mac right so now we will use the blending mode for this we will use the blending mode overlay so we can see here and we can just uh, slightly uh, reduce the opacity if we want uh, to see the metal texture properly right and uh, we can also try other blending modes such as multiply multiply is a little bit dark we can also try uh, soft light hard light okay hard light uh, hard light looks better and uh, we can also slightly uh, just uh, increase the opacity here right we will stick to hard light we can uh, anyways uh, experiment uh, with the blending modes different blending modes are going to have different uh, impact on this uh, sheet right and we will change our background to pure black so simply select the background and use the keyboard shortcut alt plus backspace in pc or option plus backspace in mac right now what we will do is to make it more interesting we will take a layer above this shape layer and then we will just type the letter s
just scale it right so now what we'll do is we will apply the same uh, metallic uh, texture to this particular uh, letter S so what the way we do is simply hold alt in PC or option in Mac and just click on this FX icon and then drag the same layer style and drop it over the text layer so we will get something like this we we'll just double click on the right side of the text layer to open the layer style dialog box and what we will do is we will select the bevel and emboss and we will reduce the size here see we can see the change and uh, we will also keep the style as pillow emboss we don't need inner bevel we will select pillow emboss so we can see here right now this looks better and the next thing we will do is uh, we will just take one more layer above the text layer and we will create one simple ring so we will select the elliptical marquee tool and if you hold shift we will get a perfect ellipse right and we will just place it exactly at the center of the shield and uh, what we will do is we will go to edit and here we will select stroke the stroke dialog box appears so what we will do is uh, we will just uh, keep the color the default color here but uh, we will change the location as center and also we will keep the width as 16 pixels and simply click ok right now what we will do is we will apply the same layer style the metallic layer style to this ring so just hold alt in PC or option in Mac and uh, select the FX icon and drag it and drop it over the ring layer so we can see here and again we will do some slight adjustments uh, for the layer styles that we have applied for this ring and just open the layer style select the bevel and emboss we can just reduce the size and also we will change the pillar emboss to inner bevel so we can see here right now this looks better and uh, select the topmost layer and we can also apply a curves adjustment layer and we will just reduce the brightness so that it looks like a realistic metallic shield to give it some extra attraction so what we will do is we will apply some extra shine or extra flare effects to this shield I have downloaded some flare brushes from online from a website called brusheasy.com and I will give the link for this particular brush in the description so this is uh, the free lens flare photoshop brush and uh, this brush is uh, found in brusheasy.com so here there are different types of flare uh, brushes uh, which are uh, included in this uh, brush, uh, brush list so here I will be selecting flare 63 and I have taken a new layer above the shield layer and what I will do is I will change the blending mode to linear dodge so linear dodge blending mode will give extra brightness to the flare and I will reduce the brush size and uh, we can just click near the area that is really bright so here we can see but uh, we can make it a little bit small okay so we can also do the same thing we can try one more uh, type of brush so we can reduce the size of it we can just rotate the brush and see here and in case we think that uh, the size of the flare is too big we can reduce the size even further okay this looks better we can also just 
put it uh, put the flare effect on this text also so something like this right so here is the metallic sheet so i hope you like this tutorial please do like share subscribe and if you have anything to say do comment see you again